Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today, I'm gonna be going the information for- I was snapping my fingers, you didn't hear it. I'm gonna be going over the information for the brand new units, which were Grimmar and the Rose Queen, I believe that is her name. Uh, and also, we have Mana Spiral Invo for Nurse Eileen, so I'll also be going over that. So that's gonna be today's video, I hope you like it. If you do, leave a like, it supports the channel a whole bunch. You can comment, tell me about how you're feeling about either the new um, summons coming out, the new units coming out, or the Mana Spiral for Nurse Eileen. I'll gladly read what you have to say about either of them. Or if you just want to say hey, I'll, I'll gladly talk to you for a bit. Um, and subscribe to me if you want more videos from me specifically. So let's go into it. Alright, let's see. Alright, so Grimir and Rose Queen. Both wind. One is a wind lance and the other is a wind dragon. Sure. Also, this is also a uh, prize showcase, which are always nice. The platinum prize. This makes the single summons ten times better. <laughs> I now feel a little bit better about single summons, because uh, I'm not the biggest fan of single summons, but for a prize showcase, I'll gladly take a little prize here and there. I got no problems with that. So as always, the prize list hasn't changed at all. I really hope I do not get, for the third time in a row, the fucking chocolate bar ingot. I just don't need it anymore. I have so many. Give me adamantite or a sunlight stone. Please. Alright, so here we have Grimir. A mysterious young man who wields powerful winds. He claims to be a god of war sent by the Keeper of Fate. He speaks in an overly dramatic fashion, clearly influenced by the poetry and fiction he enjoys. But at his core, he's a good guy. Okay. Uh, all people who call themselves the god of war are good guys, just like a Kratos. Boy, Eternal Storm. Deals damage to enemies directly ahead and inflicts Storm Lash. When the Brawling Storm level 5 effect is active, a more powerful version of this skill will be used. Damage 935 over 1 hit. Damage 312 over 3 hits. Skill energy required 2940. Special effects Storm Lash. After skills change, it's the damage is 125 over 8 hits, and damage is 500 over 2 hits. Same skill energy requirements, and still Storm Lash with the same damage of 41 and trigger time of 2.9 seconds. We got Full Storm Tempest. This is a shareable skill, deals damage to multiple targets and enemies and near those targets and- wait, what? Deals damage to multiple targets and enemies near those targets and draw, draws them together, okay. Deal damage 300 over 9 hits, skill energy required 8,640, skill energy required shared skill 14,688. This seems kind of built, so I haven't had time to do the new Dominion quest, but it sounds like in the in the new Dominion quest you do a lot of minion fighting, so this will probably help out a whole bunch. I've seen a lot of people saying like, hey, get an AoE clearing effect, it's going to be very helpful. Co-op ability, HP 15%. Chain co-op ability, win combo time 6. If a team member is attuned to win, extend the window between them hitting an enemy and the combo counter resetting for 2.5 seconds. Abilities forbidden power within 2 grants the user the brewing storm effect every time he executes a 100 hit combo or defeats 5 enemies. Let's see, going with this. Uh, Brewing Storm has 5 progressive more powerful levels. Level 1, increase the damage dealt by user's attacks by 15% for 60 seconds. Level 2, increase the damage by the user's attacks by 20% for 60 seconds. Level 3, increases the damage dealt by the user's attacks by 25% for 60 seconds. Level 4, increases the damage dealt by the user's attacks by 30 seconds. And then at level 5, increases the damage dealt by the user by 50% for 60 seconds. 100% freeze resistance and unsealing cyclone 2 extends the window before hitting an enemy and the combo counter resetting by 2 seconds and when the brewing storm level 5 effect is active creates a vortex around the user that deals damage to surrounding enemies uh that sounds super cool i don't know how often you're gonna get that so again this guy kind of feels like he's built for but at the same time are you specifically fighting again this is the problem of not doing the new um quest Sure, sure that the shared ability, because it's a shareable ability and can go on anyone, they'd be useful for that me uh, method, but I'm not sure- I thought it was fire that fought them, not wind. Hmm. But either way, there are other stuff that- there is other stuff that can take advantage of this, like the, um... God, what the hell is that thing called? The thing I really don't like is <laughs> you fight a whole bunch of enemies. 
um, the raid battle thing where you have to protect the gate. That um, you can tell how much I like it because I don't remember it. Uh, he would be very useful for that. Obviously, probably not a whole lot of people would be happy about that. The problem with the combo counter thing, which we're just gonna have to wait and see how his combo stuff is. I think I saw some early looks at it, and just based off of him being a spear, I don't know what he can do. Spear is not known for its comboing. Dagger is known for its comboing. Knot can get 500 hit combos pretty damn easy. I don't know if Knot were a spear unit, it'd be able to do the same thing. So it makes me think that there's something in his combos that will make him better for hitting combos, maybe? I'm gonna have to wait and see on him, but... Uh, I don't know, he sounds kind of cool. I, I definitely like the idea of using him. How, uh, how good he is in practicality, we'll just have to wait and see. But if you're in terms of just like, I want to have this guy because it seems like he'd be doing mad combos and doing mad damage, hey, go for him. Rose Queen. Uh, a beguiling dragon, but the regal aura of a queen who prizes her beauty above all else. Master of Rose and Briar, she lies in woodland repose behind an impenetrable thorn wall of her own creation. <sighs> Same. Uh, Sullen Rose deals damage to surrounding enemies and summon five enchanted roses. These roses will deal damage to surrounding enemies for 10 seconds after wilting, then disappear after an additional 10 seconds. Destroy a wilted rose will restore HP to the user who destroyed it and count as having defeated five. Wait, what? Okay, so. They're meant to be used to get. This is insane in terms of. <laughs> well, actually, the being defeating enemies, there's some units that specifically are use not useless, but they have skills that's like defeat this many enemies, and it's like, yo, I'm fighting a single boss. This isn't useful. This isn't useful at all. So maybe she'd be good for them too. But it also seems like she was just built to go with this dude, 100, percent and you just destroy your own roses. Um, that's what it sounds like to me, anyway. Abilities, Wind Strength, 70%. Slayer Strength, 2%. If the user is attuned to win, increase the strength by 2% for every 5 enemies defeated up to 5 times per quest. So yeah, Slayer Strength was the thing I was thinking. It's uh, the thing I was thinking of getting stronger per enemy killed. Um, that's a super interesting dragon. But the good thing that, that I like is that what they seem to be doing is that if they can't... <laughs> If they, they don't want to, obviously, like, Galicephir is kind of going to be the, your main dude to go for for uh, Wind Dragons. But for very specific units, I could see this kind kind of being super useful. And to be fair, I don't know what the damage is on these roses. Oh, I do. The damage is 288 over 8 hits, and the damage 50 with 25 hits. Damn! Wait a minute. Yeah. This hits 25 times, this hits 8 times, and it summons a bunch of roses. Summons five enchanted roses. So with five roses hit 25 times, you'd be able to super easily get this dude all the way. Yeah, they seem kind of built together with each other, which I, mm, I don't know how I super feel about. <laughs> I mean, we'll see how good he is without her, but it kind of feels like this dragon is also made to specifically make him way better. But again, we'll see. Wait and see. She seems pretty cool. Uh, again, I like the Slayer Strength. The Slayer Strength has never, they have never addressed the issue of, hey, what do we do when there's only one enemy and you have Slayer Strength? And their their idea was, damn. Well, anyway. <sighs> Alright, so let's go to Nurse Eileen. Let's look at her Mana Spire real quick. So, of course, if you uh, saw my videos on Wands, she was one of the ones that I really wanted to have a Mana Spiral. I'm glad that they're giving her one. So let's see what she does. Um, medicinal Cure, restores HP to all allies, continues gradually healing over time, and increases the entire team's strength and defense. Recover potency 44, skill energy required 7,888, special effects strength 8%, defense 15%, HP regen 15%, pretty nice. Naturopathy, shareable, restores HP to the user and nearby allies, increase their max HP and removes stun. Okay. Um, skill energy required 11,832, if it is a- wait, what? If it is a shared skill, it's it takes less? Yeah, the shared skill is 10,293. 
Why would they do that? Okay, weird. Um, special effect, HP 5%, stun relief. So the one thing I kind of don't like is that they've kept it to nearby allies. I don't like that, but I think there's at least enough cause for everyone grouping up during certain parts of fights that it shouldn't be too bad. Like, I know specifically for um, the AI in the bunnies, there's constantly times where the AI is just together, so... And for example, Brunhilde is another one where they just all group together. So, you know, it's... I wouldn't. I wish that part of it was gone, of being near nearby enemies, but hey, it's not, and I think it still works perfectly fine. Real interested about that skill energy required, though. That's interesting. Co-op ability, recover potency 20%. Chain co-op ability, dragon haste 18%. Battle tested nurse fills 100% of skill gauges at the start of quest and fills 25% of the entire team's skill gauges when the user's HP drops to 30%. Wow, she's mini Marth once per quest, and does not fill the skill gauges of dragons in addition, using Medicinal Cure will grant the user a Strength Amp, wow, with a maximum team lamp level of 2? That's why. That's fucking why he... No, 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 this is a different one. Medicinal Cure will grant the user a Strength Amp with a maximum team lamp level of 2, an amp is granted, this ability will not be granted again for 30 seconds. Potent stun resistance 100% and United Haste 2 increase the skill gauge fill rate relative to the number of active team members. The more active members, the greater the increase will be. Okay. Um, yeah, I really like what they've done. <laughs> Her having an amp will make it so she runs pretty good with, uh, you know, um, Ellie and Mercury. Hugh Merc. So, I like that. Now there's almost a team where you could probably... I actually think you probably could now get the full bubble. I mean, it'll take a while because, you know, sh you have to get her through the, the, the fight, but, you know. You know. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. <laughs> I think they've done a pretty good job with her. Um, I'm glad that she finally has 100%. She has a potent stun resistance of 100%. That's always nice. Um, the United Haste 2 sounds pretty good still, and Battle Test and Nurse, uh, again, the mini Marf stuff is pretty nice. Not a lot of people get Marf bonuses, so yeah, I think they did a pretty good job. Obviously, there's still some stuff I wouldn't like about the naturopathy, but, you know, you take the good with the bad. <laughs> At a certain point, it doesn't help to actually complain about everything. I still think Jishi will suffice enough being, uh, the getting a strength amp is perfectly fine with me. Um, so yeah, that's what, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. Once again, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next adventure, whatever it may be. Chances are I'll be summoning. Let me see, when is this going up live? Five. Five, two, so that's today. Okay. I'll do a little, I'll throw up some summons. I might get Grimir or Rose Queen, we'll see. Until next time, everyone, you guys have a good day. I wish you all the best of luck if you are pulling, if you're not, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out!